and then look at Edward's chick. She looks delicious. She looks like one of those human guy's girlfriends. Who understands those human guys anyways? He only talks to her because she smells like a total mountain lion, okay? I mean, her scent is just so... Mm. I can't believe it's just so good. And she's right there. Duffer, calm down. Look, I just want to pounce. I like Bella's blood and I can't not lie. You other clothes can't deny. When the girl walks in, I just go absurd. Think about Edward. Screw him. I want to stop Carlisle. He can blood makes me smile. Damn, why are we vegetarian? We want to be a barbarian. Oh, Bella. I want to get with her. You can become a victim. I know I tried to stop it, but that's when she's got. Give it up, Emmett. Ooh, Bella Swan girl. You know I love you, but you tease me, tease me. It's got us going crazy. What it does to me. Think about my rose leaf. Smells good and sweet. Much better than bear meat. I'm tired of keeping calm. Can't go for too long. Get your average time card for her there. She's too good to share. So, Edward. Yeah. our topic for this week. I hope y'all like our uh, this week's challenge for us. We got the parody, obviously, is Sarah Makes a Lot, Baby Got Back. It's called Bella's Got Blood. And it was by some lovely ladies that y'all should check out because they are hilarious. Shalissa2216. We'll link it. We will. Um, it is. This topic is we need to find a book, a song, and a movie that relates to each Twilight, New Moon Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Well, we're quick. Thank you so much to everyone who's been, um, you know, asking us if we're doing okay. And really, you know, it's great. Thank you so much. Okay. So we're going to start off with Twilight. Um, the movie that we picked is Pride, Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. In vain, I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Uh, yeah, okay, we picked that one because um, of just the love connection, the type of connection it is, I guess. Like, it's really strong. But the song we chose is Imogen Heap, Good Night and Go, completely different reason. It, this is more after they, like, fall in love. And I really think it's more after Edward's point of view. Y'all should listen to this here. I think we might put a clip there. Why'd you have to be so cute? It's just a really cute piece. I'm in love for the, for the first time song. And y'all should totally listen to it. You know what I just thought of? Huh. Love Bug by the Jonas Brothers. Okay. Call you for the first time yesterday. I finally found the missing part of me. Yeah, another one you should listen to that's also a Planet of Twilight is Thunder by Boys Like Girls. Your eyes are the brightest of all the colors I don't want to ever love another You'll always be my thunder Um, it's pretty self-explanatory if you listen to it. Okay, and the book is Seventeenth Summer by Maureen D Dolly. Okay, I just started reading this book, so I'm not done, so I don't know if that's completely correct. But, um... It just talks about like falling in love for the first time, and she's 17, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, New Moon. The movie, um, I actually chose Castaway. Wilson! <laughs> Here we go. Like Here we go. Okay, in Castaway, um, he is, has, you know, this perfect absolutely normal life and all of a sudden in a you know completely like whoosh, he just gets cast away in a deserted island and he needs to learn a completely new lifestyle he needs to change his ways and he needs to adapt completely 
I feel that when Bella is with Edward at first, she's, you know, perfect, normal and everything. Then when he leaves her, she needs to learn how to, like, live her life a completely different way. Okay, and then the songs that we picked, um, we have three, actually. Okay, the first one is Jacob's Perspective, All Over You by a Soul Canvas. I am miserable, make believe. Stress me up in what you want me to be. Amazing song. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Yeah. The lyrics are dead on. Jacob, but yeah, dead on. Okay, and then my personal favorite is from Bella's perspective. Um, it's called Bottom of the Ocean by Miley Cyrus. It's been in the past for a while. I get a flash and I smile. Am I crazy? Still miss you, baby. Now, Before You Judge, it's by Miley Cyrus. It's a really, really, really good song. And it explains to a T, like, what she was feeling right before the whole, like, clip diving scene. Amazing. Look she didn't have, it. like, water, yeah. like. Yes. At the very end. We'll put a clip of it. We'll yes. Of it. And it's in the sidebar. You could be happy by Snow Patrol. I feel that it could be towards Edward or Bella. You could be happy. Um, it's so cute. And in the book, we chose Speak. Not just because Kristen Stewart's in it. Um, she just, you know, something's going on inside her. She has an internal battle and she's trying to be normal and be normal around everyone around her, but she's completely miserable and she really can't, like, let out exactly how she feels why. Eclipse, the movie. Christina, take it away. <laughs> Alright, so, for the movie, don't judge me. No, actually, it's called Aladdin. <laughs> you know, you should, you should have heard of it by now. You aren't just some prize to be won. You should be free to make your own choice. I'll go now. No! What? what? There's a love triangle going on. That's my triangle. Even though she doesn't really want it to be a love triangle. Or whatever. Yeah. It's just a love triangle that's just, you know, whatever. That's the only reason. Oh, and then also because, like, the dad wants her to be with I Jafar. With Jafar. Even though I really, I love Jacob, so I would never, like, compare him to Jafar. I'm just saying. Ecstatic. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> and the song, Imogen Heap, Loose Ends. It's a love triangle song. Yeah. Okay, and in the book, I'm also reading right now, Uninvited by Amanda Marone. Oh my gosh, new Stephanie Meyer. Wait, did I just say that? Yes, I did. Okay, dude, seriously, so good. If you need a Twilight fix, like you don't know what to read, nothing is good. Read that book. Read also, I started reading and I finished in two days, literally two days, the, uh, it's called Mark. Okay. Okay, Breaking Dawn, the movie, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Voila! Oh, you look so, so stupid. You want to know why? First of all, I didn't even think of it. Belle and Bella. Oh! I did not even think of that. I just thought of that right now. No. <laughs> but, like, she kicks butt. She's B.A. Oh, the song. Do you realize mm. about the end and just share she's a and of course Bella's life came to an end. An end. The book um, is The Merchant of Venice and we got that straight from Stephanie Meyer. Stephanie Meyer says Alice tore a page from The Merchant of Venice because the end of Breaking Dawn was going to be somewhat similar. Bloodshed appears inevitable, doom approaches, and then the power is reversed, and the game is won by some clever verbal strategies. Um, no blood is shed, and the romantic pairings all have a happily ever after. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you yeah. like it. Subscribe to Colin Crest and JK1650. So, no peace out, Girl Scout. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow, Stephanie. Cool. Here's the bad news. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>